All right, team. Happy, happy, wonderful sculpt. Welcome. We're gonna be working about a 40 minute full body experience today. My name's Katie Be Happy and I've got Vanessa here with me and Trina. Vanessa's gonna be giving you some and options to keep you focused on one area of the body and Trina will be advancing some more compound movements today. So watch them, they're awesome demos. We're gonna start in a child's pose. So sit on your booty or roll onto your belly rather. Come in a child's pose position. And in your awesome child's pose, rock your forehead side to side. Feel your arms expand in front of you. Make a little tiny offering to the ground. You are ready to rock. Tell this ground that you're here and thank you for supporting you. Oftentimes we forget how awesome the earth is beneath us, right? For your whole life. Today, working on certainty. Creating a version of yourself that you are certainly proud of. Creating some sort of certainty in a life that is often very uncertain, especially right now. Breathe in, downward facing dog, fly all the way back. Rock your right knee and your left knee so that you feel a little bit more space in the back side of your legs. And then your job this whole class is to make certain that you feel good, that you feel better. This whole class, your job is to make sure you feel fulfilled in all of the ways that you need because I'm going to guide you, but the most important part is that you realize you're the only one that can reconcile any of the uncertainty, any of the negativity. It's all on you. So make that choice right now to be the person that you need. Breathe in. Bend into an active child's pose. Push your butt back onto your feet. Exhale, step your right foot through into a low lunge. Wiggle your left knee to the earth and then straighten your right leg a few times. Enjoy some beautiful length and stretch through the back line of your leg. Inhale. Exhale, twisted low lunge. Look up at your right hand and expand your chest. So the idea here is that you look so far up that you can even get a stretch of the scalenes, the SCM in your neck. Inhale. Exhale, squat, tuck, and curl. Bring your left foot to meet your right. Round your body into a tiny little ball. Now I'm gonna give you kind of a cracked out option today. Instead of squat, tuck, and curl, put the weight in your hands. Roll your body weight forward and lift your feet off the ground. Vanessa's gonna stay in a squat, tuck, and curl to show you that awesome back opening. Trina's gonna give it a little attempt to warm both feet. Awesome, breathe in. Exhale, fold into your tiny ball. Halfway lift, inhale, hips up and head up. Drop your heels like a deadlift action, inhale. Forward fold, exhale, and flatten down. <laughs> if you can feel your back release a little bit, bend your knees heavy and try to be really loose in your back. Sway your head left and right. Get some space for you. The whole class is supposed to be a dedication to creating your best self. How we create certainty in a world of uncertainty is you make sure you're proud of everything you can control. So right now, are you as open as you can be? Are you as receptive? Are you as strong and flexible as your body can be? And if not, get to that position by stretching behind your calf muscles, by giving yourself mental credit. Whatever you need today, that's on you. Be your own battery pack. Inhale. Exhale. Rise up to mountain pose and stand tall in your power. Plant your feet nice and strong. Breathe in. Exhale, forward fold. Reach down again for the earth. Halfway lift, breath in. Exhale, push up, step or float your whole body back. Bend your elbows halfway. Lift your chest into upward facing dog. Look left and right. Breathe in to stretch your hip flexors and your psoas. Exhale, active child pose. Push your ass back to your heels. Walk your palms far enough back that your knees float off the ground. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, left foot through, low lunge. Inhale, bend your right knee down. Exhale, straighten your left leg back. Find some space in your hips. Get all that good anti-running stretch, Jenna. Inhale, drop your back knee. Exhale, straighten. 
Then meet me in a twisted low lunge. Lift your left palm up to the sky. Same principle. Can you extend your heart muscles open your pec muscles? Good extension, Vanessa. As you pull your fingers apart from each other, squeeze your back muscles together. Breathe in. Exhale, squat, tuck, and curl. Tiny little ball. Now again, squat, tuck, and curl is great. Or put some weight in your palms. One or both feet start to lift. As you push into like a low loss and a lift away from the ground. Take one more try if you're in it. Leaning your weight forward and hollowing your belly. Breathe in. Exhale, fold, halfway lift. Inhale. Fold in half. Let's blow it one time. Inhale, mountain pose. Rise up. Forward fold. Exhale. Halfway up. Exhale, push up, float, handstand, whatever feels good in your body. Downward dog. <laughs> Inhale, bend your knees to active child pose. Exhale, step your right foot through, let's add on. Inhale, twisted low lunge. Exhale, squat, tuck, and curl, or low lasana. Ha. Now, plant your right foot only. One leg and halfway lift. Lift your back left leg up. Level your head with your back hip as much as you can and drop your left hip down in line with your right. If you're with us, Vanessa's going to stay tented for support. Me and Trina are going to bring our hands to our heart in more of like an airplane or one-legged deadlift. Micro bend your right knee just a bit. Breathe in. Exhale, step back and land an extended side angle. Spin your back foot flat. Look up at your left hand. So if it feels good to kind of bend in and out of your right leg to find the right alignment, go for it. Stack your right knee directly over your ankle. Inhale, reverse triangle. Lift your right arm up and lean back. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, side plank to the right. Lift your right palm up and stack your right foot. Now it may feel good to tone your abs and stay right here. Or a little flip dog. Take your right toes over and like a back bend. It's up to you. You can always stabilize too with that bottom knee, but it's pretty quick. Breathe in. Exhale, push up. Hold at the bottom of your push up. Now you may stay with your knees on the ground or off the ground. Take a breath in. Tuck your toes, active child pose, hold. Inhale, prep, your knees are off the ground, stretching your feet. Exhale, left foot through your low lunge. Inhale, twisted low lunge, just like we've been doing. Exhale, squat, tuck, curl. Inhale, right leg up and back for one leg and halfway lift. So instead of the halfway lift we did in our sun A, we're adding that dimension here for hamstring strength. Stay and stabilize or bring your hands to your heart. Find some length as you lift through the crown of your head. Breathe in. Step back, extended side angle. Swing your right palm up and around. You want to bend in and out? Cool. You do you, but make sure you get your inner thigh stretched. Inhale, reverse triangle. Lean it back. Exhale, low lunge. Same dance. Side plank to the left. Inhale, jack. Your bottom right knee can be on the ground. Or if you try that flip dog, take it up and over. Breathe. Inhale, exhale, push up. Ha. Inhale, active child pose. Skip the upward dog, push your ass back. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, twisted low lunge, we'll flow it once. Exhale, squat, tuck and curl. Kick your left leg back, one leg and halfway lift. Exhale, extended side angle. Pull your left arm to the sky. Inhale, reverse triangle, pull up. Exhale, low lunge. Side plank to the right, breathe in. Exhale, push up. Remember, we're skipping the up dog. Push right back to child pose, breathe in. Left foot through, low lunge. Left palm high, breathe in. Exhale, squat, tuck, curl. Right leg back, kick it up, one leg and lift. Drop your left heel. Step back, extended side angle, swing your right palm up. Reverse triangle, breathe in. Exhale, low lunge. Side plank left. Exhale, push up. Now we start the strength training. The warm up's over. Child's pose, push back. Exhale, chaturanga push up. You're here for 30 seconds. Me and Vanessa are going to take the option on our knees and just roll with wide knees back and forth. Trina's going to stay off her knees the entire time by keeping the ap active child's pose all the way through a real tricep push up like a chaturanga. You've got 10 seconds to find a little bit of a max out. 
then just like our flow, that was the base, the skeleton for everything that's coming, we're gonna take that into a step through. In three, active child in two. Active child, tuck your toes if they're not already. Step your right foot into a runner's lunge. Twist your right palm to the sky, look up at it. Reverse the whole thing, so hands down. Step back to an active child's pose, push back. Step your left foot through, twist your left palm to the sky. You're on your own for 30 seconds, push back, step forward, and big twist. This action is one of the most dynamic things that you can do for your back. It's like an anti-sitting action. What we're doing is getting your hips stronger, getting your back stronger, and that twist is the thing that your spine loves. It's your spine's medicine. It's your spine's food, actually. It's like feeding your spine the best dinner it could possibly have. Preventative medicine for five, four, three, two. Step your right foot through and grab your weights. Inhale, press it, lunge. Lunge it out for about 30 seconds. Lower and lift. Now you can always do this without weights, of course. I'm using my water jugs. They're about eight pounds for a one gallon water jug. You can always drop set. So at any point, you can go slower or drop a weight to make it a little bit easier. All right, team. Vanessa's gonna stay for the second set of 30 seconds in lunges. Trina and I are gonna take lunge to a one-legged deadlift. Looks like this. Lunge, one-legged deadlift, align head and back foot. Land back in your lunge with your head over your back knee. Kick and lift. Why we're doing that is we're trying to pre-fatigue out your hamstring. Everybody's gonna head to deadlifts in about 15 seconds. Trina's just taking on an added balance challenge by taking away one of your legs. Awesome. Vanessa's doing a great job squeezing her glute muscles really tight at the top. Five, four. Everyone go to traditional deadlifts in three, two. All right, two feet hip width distance, ladies. Just deadlift it. Inhale, deadlift, exhale, stand. So choose to stick your butt back in the deadlift. That's part of it. Enjoy the fact. Enjoy the fact that you can actually feel your hamstrings, the back of your legs working strong. As you stand up, squeeze your abs and your ass. You have 20 seconds. Right leg gets a 
little bit of a breather from the flexion. As you drive up the back, think about the squeeze in your back muscles, becoming certain about your end result. See, that's the whole thing here is, you know if you work hard, if you were to do a scope class every day for two months or two weeks, you would see results. But the thing is that it's easy, but not simple. Because we're humans and we like to self-sabotage all the time. Three, two. All right, grab your other weight, both hands, push your right weight to the sky, then lean forward and switch. Push your left weight to the sky like a triangle pose. Perfect. Pull it through and push. Lean back and look up. Whatever weight's over your head, I want you to push and look at it. Your left arm should feel pretty fatigued from the work it was just doing. Moving from your core muscles as you push and lean. Look at whatever weight is over your head. Yeah. Awesome. Vanessa's doing a great job of actually leaning in. She rests her right elbow on her, kind of her like, inside of her right leg. That's going to help stabilize. You want less stability, which is a little bit more forward. Drive your right weight lower down towards your inner ankle like a windmill. Perfect. The lower you drop your right weight, the harder it is to get back up, right? <laughs> it's kind of like the lower you are at rock bottom. Uh, my, one of my friends, let's just say, uh, spent a few extra days in Vegas. <laughs> He was supposed to only be there for three days and called me and said, I'm going to spend another two days. I said, wow, it's not about how much fun you're having. It's about those extra two days, how much harder it is to get back up. Three days is one thing, but five days for that, last three.
Once you finish those eight, get to that upper half of the sit up. The upper half. Try to make sure that when you lean back, you still feel that core engagement. Once you finish your eight, it's a full sit up. Fingertips take a look in your ears. By the end of this, you should have done 24 of the action. Nice. I love that she's using the weight. That's good. The mess is out the way just like a leverage point on her feet. It's gonna help her to get up, right? Woo! If you get done before Trina and Vanessa, no problem, you get a little break. That's cool. Woo! Good. Trina is finished. Vanessa's almost there. Five, four, three, two. One, fuck yeah. All right, guys, same shit. One more time. Roll over. Other side. Let's hit the left leg. Let's start first by putting the weight in. Give me some big up, out, around, and down. So your left leg is just doing that big circle kind of dirty dog thing. Get it warmed up. Awesome. Now remember our crazy eight principle. We're going to do same three on the other side. Number one is that fire hydrant out to the side eight times. Back for the donkey kick for your hamstring, and then eight circles. All right, time starts right now. Eight dirty dogs out to the side, those fire my drinks. See how slowly your knee can go on the way down. Don't let it go too fast. The way down is where the magic is. Now, the reason I want to do crazy eights in today's workout is because it's less about me telling you when to stop, and it's more about you deciding when it's time for you to stop. I tell you to do eight, right? But you're the only one that knows if you cheat. But if you keep a promise to yourself, then you start to build those success chips, those success principles within yourself, where you're like, holy shit, I actually kept my word to myself. I can do this. And then your potential starts to rise. The results that you see are easier to find because you start to believe in yourself. All right, training is finished. Are you finished? All right, let's go to the side one. Right hand down, left fingertips ten. Eight on the bottom half of your side plank hip dip. Eight on the upper half. And then eight full range. Time has started. Three, two, hit it. Eight lower half. So squeeze your hips together as you push away from the ground. You're toning your serratus anterior muscle. It's that beautiful pushing muscle under your armpit. Yep. Then, once you've done eight, don't fucking do seven, do eight. That's the name of the game today, is you keep your promise to yourself. Then you do eight, full range. I don't want you to rush it, though. You got it, Cindy. All the way down, all the way up. Eight is not that big of a number, right? Eight's an important number, but it's not that big. You can do eight of almost anything. Good. Good range of motion, Vanessa, all the way down, all the way up. Yeah! Woo! Good job, Vanessa. Good job, Vanessa. Good job, Vanessa. If you're already done, take a break. Vanessa's almost there. All right, last step. We're going to do around the world crunches instead. So I want you to go up to the right, down, back the way you came. That's up for eight. Then up to the left, down, back the way you came. Then eight center sit ups. All right, team, to the right, eight times. Up to the right, back down to the right. Just to the right. Up to the right, back down to the right. You've got your own count. Here's why the accountability on yourself is important to me. I want to make sure that when you say you're going to do something, that there isn't self-sabotage, even within all of these magical, cool things we do, like a sit-up or a deadlift or a donkey kick. Obviously, I don't care, or you don't care if you do seven or if you do eight. But what does matter is you keeping your word to yourself. And then every time we do that, you change the neuroplasticity. You start to create different neurons in the brain that congratulate you for doing a badass job. And every time you congratulate yourself, there's a self-affirming result. That self-affirming result becomes the way that you start to operate, and then you're able to take risks. You're able to believe in yourself even more. What do you got? Two. Oh, God, here we go. How many more do you got? Two. Okay. 
takes four. My demos are doing a great job of doing a full out, guys. We just have that one standing set left after this, so we really want to get hard. On our feet, I should say. Four. We got it. Three. Oh, what is that? Seven. Two. One more. One more. All right, guys. Downward dog. Stretch it out. If you want to take an up dog to stretch your abs, go for it. We're just going to do that standing set on our feet left, followed by a little bit more crazy eight. Breathe in. Exhale, child pose with activity. Breathe in, bend your knees. Exhale, tricep push up. 30 seconds. Inhale, push it back. Exhale, tricep push up. If you're on your knees, roll back and forth, no problem. Elbows raise, graze your ribs so that you get that tricep work. Roll back and forth, back and forth. Ha. Yeah, perfect, man. 15 seconds, people. Come on, carry. This is your last set of push ups today, so can you give a little bit more to it? A little bit. Just a little bit. Three, two, one. Step your right foot into runner's lunge. Now I'm going to add an animal kick through. Watch. You lean in your runner's lunge into your left hand. Take your right hand. Ha. Take the left foot. Step back. Step back to child's pose and repeat. Runners, kick through. Step back, child's pose. If you prefer not to do the kick through, you can do that side twist thing that we started with. It's up to you, pick whatever you want. Active child's pose, runners, either twist or kick through. And when you kick through, keep the weight nicely in your front heel, your side finger, and pull from your abs as you kick. <sighs> Dynamic hip mobility, team. For my boot campers, I often add a handstand after the kick through. Uh, you keep going. Whoa. Child, runners, kick, and then from here. <laughs> Child, runners, kick, swing to a handstand. Take it to a 
one-legged deadlift, kick the right leg back. Kick your right leg back, yes. Inhale, one-legged. Exhale, stand up. Let's switch the arm work to a bicep curl. Inhale, lower, wherever you are, and at the top, curl up. Yeah, give your shoulders a little underhand break so we can tone the other part of your pole muscle structure, your bicep. Awesome. If you're taking the one leg like two, now she's aligning her hand, but you're using your core muscles to drive in. Go! I said it a lot today. The world is kind of fucked, but in an uncertain world, you can create a little bit of certainty within yourself. So for these last 20 seconds, I want you to tell yourself, I'm going to complete five, and at least complete five. Make a promise to yourself that you can keep. And the more we start to do those little tiny things each day, the more you take small choices, but little tiny habits, create over time a big badass version of you. Tiny changes every day complete you in a bigger way. Are you at about five? Yeah, cool. All right, awesome. Right leg back, right weight only for a row. So the next one is taking more of like an upright and open. That's great to tone your back and shoulders. Or you can lean more into it. Just replicate whatever you did on the other side. Make sure they're similar. Get that nice squeeze going. You can rest your left arm like me on your thigh. Or if you want a little bit more, let's take on that double pulse at the top. Pull, pull, slow. Last upgrade. Take your left hand behind your back. Pull, pull, slow down. Pull, pull, slow down. So, lately I've started dating again. <laughs> and I'm finding myself, it's weird for me to like someone or, or try to like build something with someone. I'm, tr I'm seeking out their approval or I'm looking outside of myself for validation in a way that I haven't in a long time since I've been very happily single. Well, I'm very happily that we get it. Yeah. All right, now let's switch it up, guys. Take both weights. Left weight to the sky, watch it, then lean and switch. Push your right weight and look at it. Pull through your chest, lean and switch. One minute right here, and then lean. Look at your right leg as you lean forward. If you feel any stinging sensation, always back out. Remember, you don't want striking, you just want a dull ache. Like it's burning, but like a stinging, like a needle or sharp. Back out of it and maybe just do the bends without the weight. Find what makes you feel supported and challenged. Also about halfway. The end of this, or the most important lesson I should say, is that no matter where we look outside of ourselves, whether it's a new job, a new friendship, something that your kid says, something that your parents said or didn't say, the only way that we reconcile uncertainty is within ourselves. You have to reconcile within you. So if I'm looking for this uh, validation from the outside in any way, we have to first create it in this moment. Last two yes. By saying, okay, I'm certain I can give myself some love because I just did this class. I'm certain I can be in the moment because I'm such a badass and look at what I just did. All right, team, rotate forward. Back on your tabletop. Last seven crazy eight. Put the weight in your left knee. Up and out for eight. Donkey eight, circle eight. All right, fire hydrant, left leg. Three, two, hit it. Eight fire hydrants to the left. You're going to count them on your own. You've done it before. Once you hit your eight, then you're going to go backwards and donkey kick. Keep your abs in. And then eight big circles. And if you can remember what way you went the first time, reverse the direction. Push away from the ground. Don't let your shoulders or chest sag. Push up and hollow your abs. Feel empowered that the ground's supporting you, just like we thanked at the beginning of class. And push that shit up.
Let me know it's going to be Let me know halfway up, all the way up. Yeah, right here now. We're doing, we're starting on the other side. Yeah, that's good. But after we do those eight, full range, all the way down, all the way up. Shredding your internal and external obliques. Giving your abs some serious love. You guys can feel the finish line. We just have this crazy eight section and then we're done. We're so close to that finish line, guys. Good. So ladies, once you're done, just drop on the tabletop again. Woo Good. Vanessa's got great depth. She's pushing up out of her armpit, stabilizing her whole forearm. All right, put the weight in your right knee to prepare. We're gonna do the other leg side. Put the weight in your right knee. We're doing eight side to the right, eight back, and eight circles. And hit it. Dirty dog on the right side. Same shit, other leg. After this in our side plate, we just have one final set of crunches and we are done. Push your tempo. Remember, I want you to explode on the way up, but go slow on the way down. Yeah, you really need to push it. So it's fast up, slow down. Why? Because that leg is really heavy. Hopefully you have a really strong leg from all the muscle work, right? Your leg's heavy. Muscle weighs more than fat. That's why I never get on a scale. Normally I'm like 140 pounds, right? That's a good thing for me because I'm muscular. So I can't really tell when I get on a scale how I feel. It's how my pants fit, right? That's a lot different for me. Mash it up. Can we get it now? Can you just finish, Trina? All right, Trina, finish. You got two? Everybody, five. Everybody, four. If you're not done yet, three, two. Side plank, shake out. Left hand down. Let's do it. All the way down, halfway up. Three, two, go. Okay. Results only come from you telling yourself, I'm going to see that challenge, and then see what's on the other motherfucking side of it. Be brave enough to push yourself up off the ground again. Be brave enough to keep working through the sensation and say, I have the power and the capacity within myself to keep going. And every time you get back up, there's a new neural pathway that forms that believes more in yourself. You got a team that believes more in David, that believes more in Cindy, that believes more in Jenna, that believes more in Carrie. Come on. All right. Everybody finishes in five, four, three, two, on your back. Sit up to finish. Eight halfway, eight in the top half, eight is full. Ready, steady, hit it. Eight baby crunches. One, two, three, your eight. Come all the way up and halfway back. All the way, all the way up, halfway back. And then eight full range. All the way up. All the way down. Tell your core muscles who's lost. We just completed 40 minutes of an intense workout. You have the grand finale. You're at the finish line, and everyone that counts on you in your life wants you to finish strong. So I say, go Vanessa, go Trina, go all the way through the finish line. You are creating your own certainty right now. Let's go! Trina's got two. Vanessa's got three more. Good. Everybody ends in ten. Nine. If you're not done, you end in six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Alright, stand your butt. Roll on your back. Let's do a hamstring stretch. Grab your right leg. Bend your left foot to the floor. Grab your right leg and tug it back. Breathe in. Keep your legs straight. Let it fall over to the left. Give it like an IT band stretch and a supine twist. Look over to the right if you want a little bit more for your neck and chest. It's the exact same action we did in our leg twist and low lunge, but now you're using gravity to help stretch you. Your body's against the ground like that initial child pose. Calming the steady flow of your 
breath, let it be a little easier. Inhale. And then exhale, come through center, gently switch. Let's find that hamstring stretch on the opposite side. Pull your left leg in. <sighs> Good. Actively, don't just like half-ass the stretch either. Be in the stretch as much as you can. Pull it back. Get some depth. Just as you're responsible for your own growth of muscles, you're also responsible for your own stretch and recovery. Again, I don't care if you half ass it. I care about you, but I care about how you keep your promise to yourself more so. Breathe in. Supine twist it over to the side. Gently let it fall. Ah. Breathe in. sweet ground that we initiated class starting with thanking feel held that as your breath flows in and your breath flows out you can get a semi calming or resetting sensation. Your body loves the parasympathetic state, that rest and digest. Transition to come to a seat, bring your palms to your heart. 
press your thumbs against your beating chest. And I like to end with affirmations, right? So I want you to repeat in your home out loud after me. Hey, today. Hey, today, today. I'm ready. I'm ready. For the best day of my life. For the best day of my life. It's a choice I make. It's a choice I make. I choose to see the love. I choose to see the love. In all of the fear. In all of the fear. I choose to see the good. I choose to see the good. In all of the crazy. And I will keep and I will keep little promises to myself. Little promises to myself. Yay, bow your head towards your heart. Namaste. Namaste. Team, thank you for joining me on Zoom. Share this. The biggest thank you you can give on YouTube, especially, is just share, share, share. It's free. Give the love to people. We gotta keep spreading the good word in this crazy world. Thank you, Vanessa and Trina, for being here. Thank you. Yay!